Well, this weekend's dusting of snow won't stick around until Christmas, let alone the end of this mild week. So will we have a white Christmas and how often do we really get one? Good question. Kirsten Mitchell digs into the odds of having a winter wonderland. A beautiful sight, we're happy tonight, walking in a winter wonderland. Finally, a fresh coating of snow. And they love it, of course, because they're huskies. So when it snows, they're like, yeah. Magical, if you ask Michael, visiting from Portland. It's beautiful and it's peaceful. But ask a Minnesotan. This is really pathetic. It's not even snow. I think it's been pretty disappointing for snow <laughs> so far. What are the chances that we could see a white Christmas this year? The forecast doesn't look great for a white Christmas. The outlook, we don't have any big weather systems in store. Definitely things are changing with the climate. Next weather meteorologist Lisa Meadows says dreams of a white Christmas are threatened by climate change, which is warming our winters. We're also in an El Nino year. How does El Nino impact whether or not we see snow during the holidays? El Nino usually means for the state of Minnesota that we are going to have milder temps and also less than average when it comes to snowfall. A white Christmas is defined as an inch or more of snow. How frequently do you think we do actually have a white Christmas compared to a brown one? I think it's always white. I'm going to go 80%. Yeah. I think the overwhelming majority would be white Christmases. Based on 124 years of snow depth measurements, the probability of a white Christmas in the Twin Cities is 71 percent. Chances of having at least five inches drops to 32 percent and 10 inches down to just 11 percent. But 71 percent, so you don't get it all the time. I just assumed every single Christmas you guys had snow galore. From 1899 to 2022, there have been 36 years with either no snow or just a trace. <laughs> 2021 was the last brown Christmas. As for the snowiest, 1983, when 20 inches covered the ground. Shoveling the snow, I think, is the real problem. Yeah. <laughs> but it is still possible we get a rogue storm that could come in right before we head into Christmas morning, so there's definitely still a chance. Let it snow. Happy holidays. <laughs> in Minneapolis, Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO News.